Hi everyone, today I just wanted to share with you the way that I've been making my envelope mini albums, um, the binding for those. Um, in the tutorial that I uh, used before, the instructions were to make hinges um, and then attach the pages to the hinge and then you'd have a soft bound book. But this way um, that I've put a couple tutorials that I've found online together to make it so that you can use a chipboard spine it makes it a little more stable and more like a like a book I guess so first um, the measurements that I'm using are for um, envelopes that are four and three eighths by five and three quarters and I got them from um, Joann's and it came in a 50 pack um, a value pack from Joann's and I think they were 50% off so I think I paid only like five dollars or less even for that so that's the size envelope I'm using and for the hinge, what I did was I took a piece of eight and a half by five and three quarters, and then I scored it at one, and then one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, and then all the way until seven. And in this album, I'm going to be doing um, there'll be four envelope or four hinges, I guess. So there'll be eight cards all together, if that makes sense. If you've done a an envelope mini before you'll know what I mean. Um, so then you take your your uh, paper and then you start folding on the score lines. So then you go you make a peak so one goes up like that and then this next one stays flat and then the one after that makes another peak and so in between, that's the um, the like the room that you use, so you can put stuff. There is a little channel. Let's see here. So here's another peak. And here's the other peak, and here's the the channel in between the two. And I've already got one all folded. After you get everything folded, you're going to want to flip it to one side and attach a piece of score tape or double-sided tape. You know, whatever your preference is, red line tape, and to every third. Um, score mark I guess so there should be four for the four sets or the four sets of hinges I guess you'll end up with and then you'll take off the tape one by one and press the two together and then remove the next one if I can get it I don't have any fingernails today <coughs> Okay, so after you get all four pieces of tape removed and your hinges taped together, you'll end up with something that looks like this. If you can tell, there's four little ridges. And then to these ridges, what you're going to do is attach more tape to it. You'll add a piece to each side of the hinge. I love score tape because you can tear it with your hands. Red line tape is good. I think it's a little bit stickier than score tape is. But for the convenience and ease of using score tape, I buy it every time. So it's my preference. Okay, there you go. And then what you want to do is take your envelope. And these are have a square flap on it, so it's even easier. The square flaps are easier to attach because there's less of a point, so it doesn't uh, taper as, or it's more of a subtle taper, I guess. So you're going to want to take off one side of the of the score tape on one of the hinges, and then with the flap facing up, the flap here. Here's the inside of the envelope, the flap facing up. You're going to want to line up. The hinge here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. 
And see, we're going to want to line up to the very, not to the very edge where the, where the score mark is, but just above it. Because you'll want it to be able to flip and close nicely. So I usually do it about <clears throat> a sixteenth of an inch above, or as close to. And then make sure it goes on straight. Because the straighter it is, the nicer your book will look. And then it's on. So what you do is you take the other side off and repeat the process until you have all eight envelopes or however many you've decided to do. So I'm going to flip this around and do the same thing on the other side, making sure that the flap is the part that's touching the tape. Just like that. So I'll do another one. And you always want to make sure that the flap is the part that's hitting the tape. And I tend to make my hinges just a tiny bit shorter than the envelope. I'm talking about like an eighth of an inch shorter. Just so the um, hinge doesn't show. Especially if you're using a different colored cardstock than your envelopes. And this is such an easy way to do it. I can't see myself going back and making those individual hinges for every single one. That just, this looks a lot nicer because it looks more like a professional, professionally made book. And it feels like it's gonna hold together a lot better. Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. I sound a little deep and a little hoarse, but I wanted to get this out <laughs> before the weekend because we will be out of town. Okay, so one more. It is. <clears throat> Here. Okay. So now that you've got all your pages put in and assembled, you should have something that looks kind of like this. So it's, um, and you'll have the center part. This is where you'll attach your pocket page to the center part here. And I've already done the measurements for this. <coughs> Excuse me. The measurements for this is um, five and three eighths by nine and a half. And what you're going to want to do is score it at the five and a half side, at half an inch, and at five. And then you're going to want to flip it and then score it at um, three and three quarters. And then 